His, his family, originally uh, from Armenia, both of his parents had slightly theatrical backgrounds, uh, working in the arts, and a as a young child he was on stage, um, getting involved in small cabaret shows, music hall uh, acts, um, mainly to get up and closer to these singers like Maurice Chevalier and Charles Trenet, who he was very impressed by. And then he paired up with uh, a friend of his, Pierre Roche, the composer and musician in the 1940s, and developed this music hall act, and that's where he got noticed by the Queen of La Chanson Française, Edith Piaf, who was to become a really key relationship in his life. She became a close friend and mentor, really took him under her wing. They even shared an apartment for a few years. And she took him to America to tour with her as a songwriter and manager in 1946 and work with him on his voice and try to help him launch this career. She even uh, urged him to get a nose job, which he eventually did. He got plastic surgery and she only... Um, said afterwards that she preferred his old nose. So all of these obstacles that he was encountering took, a, took a, a little while for his solo career to take off because people said, you know, he was too short, he didn't have the necessary charisma, his voice was too weak, and his, he was very, very honest. He didn't sugarcoat things in his writing, in his songs, but he was very passionate, very determined, and above all, he was a very good writer. He was, above all, uh, a lyricist. So eventually, in the 50s here in France, he had a number one hit in 1956 with Sur ma vie, or On my life, and... And uh, the rest is history.